You already know what it is, man. You be the underboss, THC305HipHop.com. We're at Urban Union Headquarters. My brother, Pages, representing the Out of Hand Band, Out of Hand yes, Productions sir. at 104. You already know what it is. Yes, What's up with you, bro? How you doing? What's up, man? Good? Just cool. Cool and cool. Cool and cool. I heard you're working on a new album. Yes, sir. Hip Hop and Roll. Hip Hop and Roll. Hip Hop and Roll. What's that all about? Let's give the fans a little bit of it. It's a, what the concept it's a collaboration of Hip Hop and Rock and Roll, the Out of Hand Band. All real music. We live through the beat. We're never gonna die. We went through to get brunch. We make a head bob with this generalistic. No one improves hip hop. It's going down. You can't stop it, boy. I'm a kettle ripping now, making lots of noise. Smoking those and drove. Going toe to toe. Just a few of the things. I'm renegade joy. Yes, small forgot. I'm a funk soul brother, and I'm literally ripping the game with no rubber. Getting hotter than a kettle. It's funky, man. It's really different. It's dope. Yeah, Are you working with the whole band on the production? The whole band. I got Jack. Guitar player, right. we got a drummer, and we got uh, my brother Kendall Cow. Kendall Cow, shout out to Kendall Cow. Shout out all to the boys Kendall out there Cow. on 104, all the rebels. And we got Bustle Bustle, bus, 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 of course. You know Bustle Bus. Doing the thing thing. Doing his thing. All day, day. But um, shit, P, uh, let's give people a little bit of history because a lot of people might not be familiar with Pages and the whole out of hand movement. Because, I mean, there's not that many bands in hip hop now. No, Let's give people a little bit of history of how you started doing your thing and how you, you know what I mean, came up with the whole yeah. concept to get a band together. Well, I started making music with Jack as my boy, you know, and right. he was in a band. Right. We started hanging out, I, I, well, I was rapping all the time and shit, yeah. freestyling. Just big. We started using a keyboard and a tape, uh, tape recorder. Yeah. We made our first track, it was Wake Up Call, it was fucking crazy. So. And then we just started making music on that little tape thing, and then we just started buying equipment. He started buying instruments. Right, right. Started learning to play all the fucking instruments. It's a one man band, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And fucking, you know, we just got the idea. Because we had a couple uh, little proteges there playing guitar and drums and shit. We just put it all together. We just people we grew up with and shit. Crazy. We're all friends. And shit. How long ago was that when you guys were in? Um, I was like 16. I was uh, 22 now. I was 26 years ago. Yeah, a while ago. It's been in the making for a minute. Well, yeah, we've been making all right music. It's just. The last year is when we really started making this out of hand music. Right. Like well, I know you put out the CD last year, right? We put out the demo, the, the demo which like was the, the preview of right. Hip Hop and Roll. Okay. And so those tracks are actually going to be on the album as well? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The album is big. It's, it's going to be like 16, 18 tracks. So it's a big one. So it's real music. Man. Give all you up and comers a little, you know what I'm saying, a little insight as to what, you know what I mean, what it's like. You gotta, gotta put in that work. Gotta yes. Work. Practice makes perfect, man. But um, I know there's a lot of things in the works, though. Bus was telling me about, you know, the business ventures. Jack and Bus been telling me about uh, a skateboard line or something uh -huh, like that. Yeah, what, what's popping with that? Well, we bought a bunch of boards and we just want to, you know, do something for the people. For the, for the skate community. We want for the to skate buy our community. CDs. Right. Right. So we're going to get a bunch of boards. Have a bunch of art on them, and we're gonna be giving them out at the shows. So wow. I'm on the internet. That's, that's a whole fucking uh, ill ass for the marketing oh, thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw them out at the shows, right off the stage. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you can face with that shit. <laughs> throw, <laughs> fuck, throw a board off the stage. You're gonna kill somebody, yeah, right. dog. That's, how I do. that's crazy. But um, but yeah, talk about the design real quick, because I know Jack was telling me like all the designs for the boards are like all original and shit like that. Yeah, well, we got a bunch of kids who know how to draw. You know, we can make uh, all sorts of things, whatever you want. Well, I was talking to him about doing an exclusive one for 305hiphop.com. 305hiphop, you'll be in the shit on the 
bottom. Can't man. wait to see that shit, man. I want to fucking get that shit up on the wall. The underboss. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's major right there, man. So, is there uh, is there like a time frame for the for the boards to start coming out, or is uh, that still in the development? It's in development, but you can see them within the next month or two. We'll be on top of that. And yeah. then where are we gonna be selling them? Is it gonna be like strictly online, or is it gonna be like in the shops as well? We're, we're working that out. We're trying to find places we can sell them. And mostly for now online, and go to the shows, man. Free boards. I know you you're, you're working on the new album, right? Yeah. You're working on the new album, so I know you're looking to collaborate and shit like oh, that, I'm right? Gonna collaborate with so, the underboss. Yeah. <laughs> with the underboss, so with, the, too, with the list. Too many people I want to really collaborate with. Is there's there's anybody you want to put out there like that you do? You want to contact or is there anybody like you have in mind? Um, Who would be like your dream collaboration? Let me say? tell you, if there's someone I really would like to collaborate, because I like his fucking rhymes, LMS. LMS? Shouts to LMS, man. The boy doing his thing. That's my nigga. But, um, anybody else other than LMS? Ken Lucal. Ken Lucal? It's coming, man. Definitely. Making beats and right now. Oh, yeah. I roll like a rebel who be in and out of trouble. Guarantee no MC can excel upon my level. Basically, I'm a killer in the streets of Bruggins. Can't go let me be in my corner. I'm a stoner, not your fellow, fellow. Ah! I know you guys are real big on the real hip hop shit. Bus is like an avid fucking hip hop fan. So, so I, I, I gotta ask you, what, how are you gonna breathe life into the current state of hip hop right now? What, what's your vision on that? Focus more on, on making good music and uh, the, you know, making money, basically. Uh, stay real. Bring the rugged factor back into the, into the rap because I'm hearing a lot of, a lot of soft shit, a lot of dance shit. A lot of cookie cutter I miss a lot of cookie cutter shit. I just want to hear some, some raw shit. You, know? like, you just gotta be real and raw with the shit. You can't do it for the money. You gotta do it for the love. Who inspired you? Like, who inspired you to start speaking? The first thing that made me want to rap was Elmatic. When I heard Elmatic. Nas. Nas. I'll tell you the truth. Big influence is Gangstar. Gangstar is like a major influence. Um, Try to call Quest for sure. All that. Queensbridge rap too, Nas, Cornega, AZ, all that shit. I grew up on that shit. Queensbridge, you know about Run DMC? No, but Run DMC, I love that shit too. Yeah, man. hell yeah, man. They That's were really one of the first dudes in hip hop to actually put it down with like the whole rock. With and the, the rock, yeah. Place, you know what I'm saying? So, sure, man, that's what I gotta ask. Yeah, hell yeah, man. One of my favorite groups. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, shit. We're gonna get up on that collab too. We're gonna bang that shit out, man. Watch out. Shit. Any last word? Shout out to him. Send out to anybody out there other than the 104 boys and all the rest of the I want to send a shout out to 305 Hip Hop for giving me this opportunity. No Absolutely. doubt about it. Anybody who's being real out there, bro, you do your thing. And I'm here. Holla at the boy pages, man. You already know. MySpace.com slash what? Kendall Villain. Kendall Villain. You already know what it is. Out of hand productions in the building. Your boy pages. It ain't a movement no more, it's a motherfucking revolution. You heard me? You be the underboss, THC. You'll find me at pop.com. We love y'all. LMS in the building, DJ L. Renal, you already know. 305 Hip Hop, I'm in the motherfucking building. All yeah. motherfucking day.